On the day of harvest, patients come early in the morning uh, and get prepared for the harvest. A uh, blood sample is taken and then uh, we, we either put a peripheral or central line into the patient so that we can extract the blood for the stem cell harvest. Uh, if the patient has good veins uh, in their arms, then usually we would insert plastic tubes into both arms and the blood can go out from one arm into the machine where the, the stem cells are extracted and the rest of the blood is returned from the other arm. In some patients, however, they don't have uh, suitable veins. The veins can be too thin or sometimes if the patient has had a lot of chemotherapy, the veins may have been hardened. In those cases, we will have to take the blood out from the patient using uh, what we call a central line. And this is a larger tube which is inserted either through the neck, through the chest, or sometimes through the groin into one of the major veins in the body. So stem cells are harvested through a machine known as an apheresis machine, which is a small machine which is a bit like a dialysis machine. A new and fresh pack of tubes and cartridges is used for each patient and each session. After the pack is opened, the cartridge is first inserted into the apheresis machine and the tubes are fitted into the centrifuge which will spin the blood and separates the stem cells from the rest of the blood. The patient is then connected to the machine. And what happens is that blood goes out from one end of the patient into the machine. The machine spins the blood uh, and when it spins the blood, the components of blood tend to be separated out. The machine then sucks up what we call the stem cell fraction. The other components of blood are then all returned into the body. Once the patient is connected up to the machine, the apheresis process starts and the whole duration takes approximately six hours. During this period, the patients uh, are able to eat, drink and are able to, with some limitation, move their hands. There may be some mild side effects during this process. Generally, patients sometimes can feel a bit lightheaded uh, and sometimes they may have some symptoms of cramps in the hands and feet or numbness around their lips. So once the patient has completed the stem cell harvest, the stem cells are collected and they are then sent off to a stem cell lab where the quantity of stem cells are established. In 90% of cases, within a one-day harvest, we can achieve a suitable dose of stem cells. However, sometimes the second day may be required, in which case the patient has to stay overnight and undergo a second day of harvest. When the stem cell harvest is completed and we have achieved an adequate dose of stem cells, the patient can be discharged. Prior to discharge, we will remove the, the lines from the patient. So this will be either the lines which are in the patient's arm, or if it's a central line, it will be removed either from the neck, the chest, or the groin. The patient will then be asked to rest for a period of 30 minutes or an hour under observation. And thereafter, if they're well, they are free to go home. We will usually organize a follow-up within the next one to two weeks, when a blood test will be done to make sure that the patient has recovered well from the harvest process.